Hey guys, Oscar here for notagrouch.com. I hope you're watching uh, my 100 day challenge. Today's day number nine, I believe. And today I wanna to talk to you about uh, a question that I get all the time and I just started getting it because of a few people that got the blog, the free blog that I offered in my email. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. If you want a blog for free, basically go and subscribe. Hey buddy, what's up? Rouge? Oh, your shoes. Can you fix the shoe, Claire? Yeah. Anyway, the question, uh, well, first, let's, I talked yesterday about fear, right? Like, people are afraid of starting because they're afraid of failure. And you don't have to worry about that. If you missed that episode, I suggest you go watch it. It's video number eight. But once they start, once they make the jump into a blog post, into a blog, the next question sometimes is I ran out of ideas. I wrote three blog posts, four blog posts, and now I don't know what to write about. How can I come up with new ideas? And it's quite simple. It takes a little bit of practice, but after you do it a few times, you are gonna have so many ideas that you won't even know what to do with them. And you'll have enough ideas on a list that you can uh, always go back to this list and pick up new topics to write about. So um, there's, tons of ways to do new ideas. First, reread the articles that you already wrote. And if you said something that references uh, like a subtopic or like a tangent about whatever you're talking about, that could be your next topic. For example, I talk about, you know, how to make money online, affiliate marketing, blogging, blogging, uh, all that stuff. And sometimes I mention a tool that it's just kind of like a, a, a short mention, but it's not the central focus of the article. So then I could go back and make an article just about that tool. Now, if you, if you haven't written enough articles for you to go back and get new ideas, then what you could do is go and do some research and see what people are talking about in regards to that topic. I got to go rescue Oliver here. Hey, what are you doing up there? Come on, come on, get down, come on, get down. Hey. Anyway, the topics that, that you can cover um, can easily be found online. So there's a couple of places where you can go and find topics to talk about. Um, one of them that I really like is Quora, Quora.com. That's a question and answer forum where you can post a question and get a bunch of answers from experts and now you can go and look at the questions and even see what some people have answered so then you can put a new perspective. And there's two benefits to using Quora. Excuse me, my allergies are kicking up. There are two benefits of using Quora. One, it gives you ideas so you can go and find new topics to cover. Then you go to your blog and you write the blog post on your blog. Then you can come back to Quora to that question and write an answer and say, by the way, I wrote a longer version of this answer in my blog and put the link. That's also gonna bring new people to your blog and it's a great way to get backlinks and traffic and new, new readers to your blog. You could also use Twitter. Use the search feature in Twitter. Go to search.twitter.com. Search for one of the topics that you wanna talk about and see what people are saying about it. See what are the trends, are there any news about it? You can do a reaction, you can do an opinion piece. Or if people are asking questions about the topic, maybe you can answer those questions. Uh, Twitter is a great way to find people talking about a lot of different topics. Search.twitter.com. And again, once you answer the question on your blog, you can go back and do a quick reply to those people that are talking about the topic on Twitter and say, hey, check it out. I wrote about what you're talking about. You know, make it sound more personable than that. But you can send them the link and hopefully get, maybe get a new reader. Facebook is another place where you can find topics. Do a search for the groups and pages that cover the topics that you talk about and see what people are talking about there. That's another great way to do it. And of course, Google or any search engine that you prefer. Whether The other one is Google. You can use Google, Bing, Yahoo, uh, even DuckDuckGo. That's another search engine. And and see what results come up, see what other bloggers are talking about, see what the news items are that will give you maybe some inspiration. And that's how you find new ideas. After you have a big readership, 
or you have a big email list because remember that you should have an email list with your blog and I'll talk about that soon but uh, once you have that set up you can even ask your audience hey what would you like me to talk about next and not only will that cover the topics that you're talking about but it also will give you direct access to the people that read you read your stuff already and so that kind of generates a nice uh, feedback loop to generate really really good targeted content so don't be afraid of starting a blog remember to sign up to my email list so i can start a blog for you for free if you want professionally done and if you run out of ideas these are the topics that you should look at so i hope i hope that this tips were useful uh, if, you, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you are new around here, then please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out my 100 day challenge and uh, leave me any comments or feedback that you have. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.